Wonder if God got a plan for everyone. Hi, Christy here from Bush Hoppies. Today I want to show you how to make a very simple uh, nectar feeder so that you can do communal feeding in your uh, apiaries. Uh, this is a standard yoga tub. You can use any bucket that has uh, these sort of ridges on the, on the inside edge of the lip. Uh, so what we do is I'm going to take the lid off just for um, to get better access. Use a very sharp knife with a nice sharp point. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a little hole just on the inside of that each one of these little um, sections. Can you see that? You'll see that I don't do it directly in line with the ridge. I do it somewhat in the middle of it. Be very careful you don't cut your fingers. Obviously, if you're feeding more... More than one colony, you can make a number of these, or you can make a larger one uh, from a five liter bucket or a what have you. Uh, when we're mixing the nectar, we're going to uh, decide what we want, what, what amount of sugar we're going to add, dependent on what we need, what the bees are needing. So uh, for me at the moment, most of my hives are well established already. They're just lacking a nectar supplement. So I'm going to feed them either a 2 to 1 or a 3 to 1, um, the uh, sugar. So that means that we'll allow 2 parts uh, water to 1 part sugar or 3 parts water to 1 part sugar. Um, if it's a newly established colony, uh, like a catch and you want to, tr a, a newly caught swarm and you want to substitute feed them, the purpose of giving them the feed is to help them to draw out comb. And then you'll use a one-to-one. -one, so one part sugar to one part water um, to feed those bees. So um, once you've made your mixture of sugar water, make sure that it's cool before you place it into these buckets. If it's hot, this um, thing doesn't work. <laughs> um, remember, we're not feeding our bees to produce honey. As soon as they're strong enough to be making honey, you should stop any supplement feeding. Um, it's only during the time periods when there is no other food source for the bees that you are substitute feeding. Um, once the liquid is cool, you place it in the in the container with the lid tightly on, um, and then simply turn it upside down. And what will happen is little water droplets will fill these um, these little compartments on the sides, and the bees can easily stand on the edge and feed from the nectar feeder. All right. Easy peasy. If you want to do an internal feeder, you can also use the same concept and place it inside your hive. Bees, we are conservationists first and foremost and that's why we try to reuse recycle wherever possible uh, you can do the same there's no need to make feeding of your bees more expensive than necessary uh, use things that you would normally throw away and let's try and save the environment at the same time if you like uh, learning new things about bees and easy ways to do things in a cost effective way then subscribe to our channel we have lots of hints and tips on how to do beekeeping in a more effective way. Uh, hope to see you there, to see you there, to see you there, to see you there, to you, um, blah, 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 start again. <laughs> I'm a moving target, I never finish what I've started, kind of makes me wish I never started, I'm a moving target.